What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, it's a, it's another day. It's brand new figures, man. It's brand new figures. It's brand new wrestling action figures that we're going to cover here today, man. And it's actually epic news. If you guys missed our video from yesterday, definitely go check it out. Almost 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes total of brand new wrestling action figure news. We go through the entire lore of everything. We discuss attires that they could be, releases, leaks, all kinds of crazy stuff, man. Definitely check that video out. I greatly appreciate it. Go leave a like over there. Let me know your thoughts over there because we had 30 minutes of thoughts on all those different and reveals and news, man. So definitely go check that out. But today, we're back with even more. It's a, it's a great day. It's a great day to be alive. As a man once said, Travis Tritt, shout out to that man. But was it really that good? You had my, you had rice cooking in the microwave. I do like, I do love a damn good rice pilaf, though. Rice is actually, I'm gonna shut the hell up now. But today, man, we're back with wrestling action figure news, man. And it's a figure that I've been waiting on for years, man. It's a figure I've been waiting on for so very long. And I'm just gonna shut the hell up and dive into it, man. AEW Supreme Series Number 5 Sting is finally upon us, man. Take a look at this figure right here, man. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable figure right here. Been waiting on this thing and they dropped it on us out of nowhere. It's kind of crazy because, you know, we talked about yesterday they put up this little billboard deal and it said a huge announcement coming or something like that, right? And then the first thing they show off was this other figure we're going to discuss and people were not having it, man. They were not having it. They just, if, if it was there, they were not, they were not taking it. People were upset, it seemed like, but they did drop this figure and I got to get this one out of the way first, man, because this is a figure, again, like I said, that we've been waiting on for years, man. We have Sting in the singlet, finally, from AEW and Jazz Wares. Not only that, it's a Supreme Edition, which means this is the, you know, this is the epitome. Every Supreme they've released, I'd say, has been fantastic. I don't think they've made a Supreme where I'm like, get it the hell out in the yard. You know what I mean? I think that every single Supreme they've released has been top of the notch. Maybe a head sculpt or two from the Cody figure. Outside of that, they have batted 1,000. It has been absolutely insane. Love the jacket that they've made, the the Lucha Bros that they did, man. The the Kenny Omega figures are ludicrous. The CM Punk speaks for itself. I mean, it's just unbelievable. But this Sting right here is a figure I've been waiting on, man. You guys, we're going to diagnose the figure here. Let's dive in here. Let's take a look at what you get, right? You do get the singlet Sting. Now, one thing that's very interesting is you're not getting what, you know, we've seen in the past with other figures, unless, this is the only thing that I'm saying, so we'll get into the lore. Of course, usually the Supreme figures, typically, they come with two or three gears, right? You either have a, a couple, you know, you get interchangeable jacket arms or you get, you know, some new tights. You get two different tights. You'll get some different things like that going on. With this figure, man, it shows everything here. You're not getting different legs. It doesn't look like you're getting different legs. And I don't think you're getting different arms, man. It looks like for this Supreme, they are just doing a straight up body. You have the butterfly joints in there. You have the beautiful singlet gear we've been waiting on, which I'll get into later. I'll, I'll touch on everything with the Sting figure, of course. But let's take a look at the accessories first, and then we'll kind of work our way backwards here, man. Because I've been waiting on this figure for so damn long. You guys know Sting's retirement match is coming tomorrow. And he's one of my favorites ever. He This is this is unreal. So having this figure here at this timing is insane. But let's zoom in here. You do get a jacket. Now, this is going to be a cloth goods jacket. This is not interchangeable. This is not rubber. I do believe there was... I can't remember exactly who said it, but I want to say they've said if a, if a figure is shown in render form and the jacket is off to the side, like drawn or the goods are off to the side drawn or something like that, that means that it's cloth goods, like similar to the Brian Danielson from Unmatched 9, I think, with the white tee and different things like that. If the figure isn't wearing it, I think that means that it's not sculpted or what have you. So this is going to be a cloth goods jacket, man, and it looks incredible. If they can capture all that detail that we're featuring right here, it's going to be just ridiculous. So this jacket looks great. You got the gold in there. You got some patterns and stuff going on. We also have two different shirts. You get a cloth goods short sleeve shirt and you get a long sleeve sting shirt. Now, I don't think, this is what I was going to say, like, you know, is this an interchangeable torso that has long sleeves? No, it's not. This is not that. This is cloth goods long sleeve, cloth goods short sleeve. It's got the sting graphics on there. And so you get three interchangeable or three removable cloth goods accessories here. The jacket looks to be very premium. I can't wait to see exactly what that looks like. And then you also have his bat, which you have to have. You have these bat holding hands, you have his fists, and you have these kind of like wide open or relaxed style hands. And then getting into these head sculpts, you have a straight face, you have kind of a talking slash angry face, you have a yelling face, and then it comes with the mask, which I think is huge. Hopefully... It's a good shape and whatnot, you know, you kind of throw back to the Toy Biz, what was it, Toy Biz Scott Hall or something like that that came with the mask, or maybe just throw back to that stuff, man, that would be amazing to have a, a mask interchangeable accessory. A removable mask accessory for Sting is amazing, I love that they're throwing that in there, so this is a figure, man, that I've just been waiting on. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this figure in general, like, obviously, it's it's an older Sting head sculpt, right, like, you're gonna have to use your Mattel head sculpts, you're gonna have to get some custom stuff made if you're gonna want to make, you like, quote-unquote, like, an Ultimate Edition 
transition style Young or WCW Sting here instead of the older version of Sting. However, I still think that it looks fantastic. I can't wait to see what some Mattel head sculpts look like on here, you know, and I can't wait for it. I mean, I think that's so sick. I mean, I can't wait to see this thing up next to my Ultimate Edition custom Sting that we have. And another thing I don't like about this figure, or really just the only thing I don't like, is just this leg mold. You know, we've seen this leg mold on so many Sting figures, and it's never been my favorite. You know, I do like that it captures the paddedness and the leg pads and stuff, but those boots, the ankle, the feet are small on this particular model. Unless they change it. They could change it, I guess, because, you know, he's supposed to have the toe hinge, so maybe it fixes it or what have you. But in this figure specifically, the boots I don't like. I think that they're too small, and they're kind of skinny, and they fall forward. They're similar to John Cena Ultimate Edition shoes or John Cena Elite, you know, the Elite style shoes that they give John Cena as we saw it on the Elite 107 Finn Balor. It's the shoe mold that I talk about all the damn time. That specific uh, boot mold that we have on these Sting figures that AEW and Jazzwares have given us, they always have that that looseness where they tend to want to fall forward, and that really is damn annoying. I can't stand that. So that right there will kind of will turn me off of the figure, but hopefully, you know, it's not a big deal. Hopefully the boots will stand up and whatnot, and I don't give a shish if I have to switch out the boots, man. Nothing's stopping me from getting this Supreme Sting right here, and apparently this is a part of Walmart Collector Con, and I think this is going up for pre-order on Walmart.com the day of Collector Con, and I do believe they're going to have more reveals that day, and I do believe also March 7th, this figure is going to be up for pre-order, I believe, okay? I do believe that is the case. Hopefully we don't have to deal with cancellations and stuff, and hopefully it won't be too much longer that we'll actually see actual images of this figure or prototypes or what have you, and then hopefully also we'll get this figure, we'll get this figure soon, man, because I can't wait to review this and see this figure. I have a complete collection, men on card of the Supremes, have the complete loose collection, so I have to, must, I mean, this is, this is one of the, just the ultimate Supreme figures I've been waiting on. So Sting being a Supreme figure, first of all, that's an automatic cop every damn day of the, uh, every damn day of the week. They make younger versions of Sting, like WCW versions and stuff like that. That's going to be a cop every single damn day of the week as well. But this is, I mean, this is a no question, man. This is no brainer. I can't wait for it. Can't wait to see what it actually looks like and, and all that. But yeah, man, super excited for the Supreme Sting. I mean, this is, I mean, I get, before this figure arrives, I mean, this could be the best Sting figure ever made. It, it sure as hell could be. So we'll have to see about that, of course. But man, I am so excited for for this figure. Can't wait for the matchup. Can't wait for everything this weekend, so it's going to be fun, man. Cannot wait to actually see Sting, and I think today, actually, at the day of recording this, at the time of recording this, tomorrow will be Saturday. I think the Shop AEW 1 of 3000 Sting is also going up for order, which is another interesting thing that I want to know before we move on here. Not only do you have this Supreme Sting that they showed off, they have the Shop AEW Sting, you have some Micro Brawlers, and now you have that Collect Forever Sting that's in the acrylic casing. So lots of things going on there, man. That's a lot of stuff going on for Sting. Huge celebration right there. I wish that they had the Supreme to give us, you know what I mean? I wish the Supreme was going up for order that you could actually purchase and have in hand within a week. That would be amazing, but I guess the timing didn't all work out there, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I think this Sting figure is immaculate. Can't wait to, you know, get this figure in, pose it around. It's unbelievable. Can't wait for it. This is one of my most anticipated figures of the year by far. Ever since I learned that Sting was getting a Supreme, I've been just patiently and anxiously waiting on this release, so this is an absolute W right here for me for this Sting figure, but then we also had some other reveals, man. We have this other reveal here. This is going to, this is an interesting thing, so they are introducing a new Target exclusive, so we have our Walmart exclusive Supremes. We have these Target exclusives here. This is a Target exclusive AEW pay-per-view series and the first figure in the pay-per-view series, I guess they're moving on from the all red foil and stuff. We have pay-per-view limited edition figures and this one specifically is an AEW Revolution pay-per-view number one Brian Danielson. So this figure here you guys can see is in the black and red. He's got the American Dragon shirt in red. He's got this new head sculpt going on. Very cool figure and I guess this is going to capture popular moments or big moments from pay-per-view shows is what I believe is what this is supposed to be, so I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. First of all, beautiful packaging. I think the packaging is sick as hell. Uh, AEW is always knocking out the packaging. The figure, gonna have to torso swap it. I don't t particularly care for the Daniel Bryan or the Bryan Danielson torso they give him, so definitely gonna have to switch that out for an MJF, but this figure does look cool, and it looks really good men on card, as you guys can see there, so we'll have to see what comes of this, what figures they release. You know, how often are these gonna be hitting shelves? I feel like that's really, I feel, I feel like a lot of people think that this is behind, and we're 
so behind on these figures in general, and I think that's where a lot of issues come from fans. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below, but regardless, if you if you don't talk about, like, the obvious issues with, you know, distribution and, like, the different things that we've discussed, I think that the figure in itself, the fig the Brian Daniels figure looks sick, and then the Brian da Danielson packaging looks sick, and I like the stickers and the different stuff going on here. I think it does look good, so I, I'm excited for the figure in that way, but it is exclusive to Target. You have the AEW Revolution Brian Danielson. I do believe the head's inaccurate, though. I could be wrong with that. Isn't he supposed to have braids, or maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so... I don't know, but then another reveal that they talked about, of course, we did talk about this yesterday, they showed off the Ethan Page figure, but this figure, man, we have an Adam Copeland rated R superstar figure, man, we, uh, this is obviously just a grayed out scale render, it's not, you know, th this is very early in development, it looks like, and I could be wrong, man, but they, it seems like they pumped, they pumped this man out in the blink of a damn eye, it seems like, I, I mean, I don't know when the hell they were gonna get this, you know, it, it doesn't, I have no idea, I have no idea when we're gonna get this, I'm hoping that tomorrow we see some more reveals, like today, Today we got reveals, you know, but tomorrow is one one day closer to the pay-per-view, and then the day of the actual show, I'd like to see some reveals, so we'll have to see about that too, but this figure looks good. I like the entrance jacket. The head sculpt looks pretty damn good, I, I might say. I really like the kick pads they gave him here, man. I like the leg mold. One thing that I really like about this is how accurate that looks. They're not fat kick pads, you know what I mean? I think they did a really good job of capturing the the just leanness of the kick pads and stuff like that. Hopefully, this figure will be, uh, you know, check off all the, check off all the boxes. It does look like this, I mean, I don't know for certain, but this does look to be like the Kenny Omega crotch and thighs. I could be wrong about that, but that's what it looks like to me. It kind of looks like that GameStop exclusive crotch piece from the Kenny Omega, but again, I'm just I'm just kind of spitballing. I know they do a lot of one-on-one -on -one sculpts, so that may not be particularly true, but it does look like they gave him the ripped up, you know, the ripped up torso. He's got the Reddit or jacket. It looks sick, man. I, I like the head sculpt and everything. It's just going to be all about attire and paint apps and all this stuff. And how uh, like how soon are we going to get this figure? Is he going to be the chase? There's just lots of different things going on with this this Edge figure, this Adam Copeland figure that we'll have to see. But I'm excited for it, man. I'm just excited to have, you know, some new updates, man. Because I feel like, uh, you know, for as much flack as this line gets, I feel like the last few figures we've gotten from them recently have been pretty damn good. Like, I thought AEW and Match Series 8 was damn good. You know, I think, you know, some of their scaling issues are still a problem in my opinion, but I still think that the figures were good overall. I liked the Malachi. I loved the Brody King. Thought that was great. Like the Ring of Honor Punk. So yeah, man, I just hope that, you know, this is a step in the right direction. You have the Supreme Sting. You have these new figures coming. Hopefully we can continue on a roll and we can get these things back going the right direction and everybody will be excited about the wave, man, and the line. So love to get into all that, man, but I would love to know down in the comment section below what you think of all these things. Of course, yeah, the Sting Supreme, which is obviously just top of the line. That's, I mean, you could just, it, we could have cut the video right there. I, I don't care, man. That Sting Supreme figure has a lot of stuff going on and I may have I can truly say that yeah it's the bee's knees it is the bee's knees but that is certainly a figure that I've been waiting for for years and that is certainly a figure I'm just highly anticipating if I had to do like Mattel if I AEW Jazz wears it's easily the sting supreme on the figure I'm most looking forward to this year and then if we were doing Mattel it's very difficult um I know that you know we have so many ultimates and we have so many elites coming down the down the pipeline I guess it would probably be the I'm very excited I'm very intrigued to know who the next four defining moments figures are that's one of the things I'm really intrigued with I think we're going to get that revealed to us at Wrestlemania who the next four figures are and I do believe that they may release like a week or two later after that because you guys remember last year they did that with the the ringside exclusive defining moments figures remember they showed them off it was the return of the defining moments line and then it was like a week or two later we had the figures in hand so hopefully that will be the case they'll showcase them there they'll have them all displayed and I can't wait to see those that's one thing I mean I'm not necessarily anxiously awaiting the figures because I have no idea who it is, but I am anxiously waiting on who the reveals are going to be. Like, what talents are they? What four moments are they? That's definitely something I'm looking forward to. And then, I guess I would say probably Ultimate Edition Series 22 Cena. That's the figure that I'm patiently waiting on what it looks like and what the gear is. As far as figures we know that are announced and whatnot, I have no idea. Like, I don't know. It, it would just have to depend. Hopefully, we have some stuff in the pipeline that we have no idea about. But, I don't know. Kind of a little rant there at the end or just kind of rambling on. But again, man, I like to talk about this stuff, man. These are things that, like, I don't have a lot of people near me uh, locally or people that I get to talk figures with or wrestling wrestling figures with, you know, at a deep level. So you got, like, the community we have here and the wrestling action figure community we have, not only on the channel, but just wherever the hell you are, like, you know, Instagram or Twitter or wherever these places are that we connect and talk about figures. This is where I talk about all the deep thoughts that I have about these figures, man. So I greatly appreciate you guys listening to that and everything like that, man. So I always appreciate you guys listening and giving your feedback down in the comment section below, man. But with all 
of those things being said, I think that is all of the news that we have for today, man. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the Supreme Sting. Are you guys going to be grabbing that? What are your thoughts there? What do you think of the Edge figure? What do you think of the Brian Danielson and the pay-per-view series and just all those different things, man? But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those guys as always, man. But it is Saturday and you know what that means, Bradley. That means that tonight we are going to be live on Whatnot Selling. It's my first show on Whatnot and I don't know how often I'm going to do this. So you guys definitely go check that out. You know, I would greatly appreciate it. Click the link in the description below, man. We're going to be going live there. A lot of listings already over there. We're going to be doing $1 starts on auctions, man. And we are also giving away a Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Attitude Era ring with the Kane Ultimate Edition figure, man. So if that's something you're interested in and you want to, you know, possibly win that, all you have to do is be following me over there and be in the stream when it's live and when we do the giveaway. It puts all the names in there and then we pull it out randomly. So that's what it is, man. So we're going to have a lot of customs over there, a lot of belts, a lot of just crazy stuff to celebrate the Retro re Rewind Collectibles weekend over there and whatnot. So click the link in the description below. Get $10 off by signing up. Follow me over there. Bookmark the show and swing by tonight, man. Can't wait for it, but I'm getting out of here, man. I'm shutting the hell up. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. I'll see you later.